Um, Sheikh, my question is, um, I've been studying the names of Allah and the seer of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I've been trying to increase my knowledge in Islam because I want to increase my taqwa basically. And But it's easy for me to fall in sin. I increase my worship also, I've increased my afkar and everything and I removed myself from all social media, like limited my um, interaction on social media and I've tried to preoccupy myself with all kind of worship but it's really easy for me to fall in sins i don't know how to get rid of this sickness i in every sujood i ask allah for taqwa to become a mutaqeen but it's hard it's very easy for me to fall into sins i don't like this situation how do i cure this situation brother ammar do you know if anyone do you know of anyone on earth who's not being tested everyone on earth is being tested by allah azza wa jal and Allah said that we shall test you with hardship, calamity, and the likes, and as well as with prosperity and health and the likes. And this is your trial. Now, the Prophet had said, alayhi salatu wasalam, in an authentic hadith, Kullu bani Adam khatta. Every son of Adam is sinful by default. However, the best of those who are sinful those who frequently repent so no one is perfect and everyone is bound to fall into sin one way or the other whether they're minor sins or major sins however the moment a true believer falls into sin he's remorseful he remembers and he comes back to Allah with repentance seeking his forgiveness and trying his level best not to do it again this vicious cycle goes with us till we die. This is the job description of shaitan. This is his mission and vision on earth to get as many followers of his to accompany him in hellfire on the day of judgment. Now, you have the choice to pass the test or to fail. Now, falling into sin is not an issue. The issue is how frequent and if you were guided to repent and express your remorse or not. And if you analyze your life, it is not the only solution to increase your adhkar and your ibadah because in so many times there are other factors that need to be fulfilled as well. So righteous companionship is extremely important as we've stated this so many many times without righteous companions you will be like a stray sheep vulnerable for wolves attack but when you're with the congregation as the prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam you're immune you're protected likewise if you engage your daily routine into seeking knowledge ibadah, dhikr, so you would not leave room for haram. And whenever you have a spare time, you utilize it in something permissible, such as going to the gym, doing sports, reading something beneficial from worldly issues, rather than having free time and not knowing what to do, among other factors. So this is something for you to reflect upon and choose what is best for yourself, and Allah knows best.